The Owen James Report is brought to you by Columbus Business Solutions. One provider, all the solutions. I'm Omar Azan, the Logistics and Operations Officer at Bashko, and we could not be happier with the phone package we got from Columbus Business Solutions. All calls between Columbus or flow numbers are free. That makes communication between our head office and our branches that much more affordable. At Bashko, the calls are endless, whether it be from our customers or between our offices, and that adds up to significant savings, which is always good for business. I'm Omar Azan from Bashko, and we use Columbus Business Solutions. Do you? Columbus Business Solutions, one provider, all the solutions. Good evening, this is the Owen James Report. The opposition Jamaica Labour Party says it plans to strenuously oppose the government's bill to amend the NHD Act and take out $45 billion over four years to satisfy the current arrangement with the IMF. That's the word from opposition spokesman on finance, Audley Shaw, in a telephone interview with the OGR today. So I asked Mr. Shaw what would be the party's alternative to the foray into the NHT as the government has posited that such funds were vital to the successful completion of an extended fund facility with the International Monetary Fund. Mr. Shaw says the opposition's strategy would have been two-pronged a $5.5 billion cut in government spending, including cutting the cabinet and expensive consultants, as well as $5 billion in increased revenues, mainly driven by stronger tax compliance measures. Now, according to Mr. Shaw, any foray into the NHT should be for housing-related solutions to stimulate widespread economic activity and opportunities for the construction sector. On the foreign exchange market, the U.S. dollar jumped to a new record high average selling rate of $97.12 Jamaican, following a gain of 13 Jamaican cents today. The Canadian dollar jumped by $1.87 Jamaican to close at $96.36. However, sterling declined by 56 Jamaican cents to close at an average selling rate of $147.97. News on the market now and losses by financial stocks such as NCB, Panjam Investment Trust, Sagicor Investments and Scotia Group triggered declines in the Jamaican stock market indices today. The main JC index lost 725 points or almost 1%. 25 stocks traded with 8 advancing, 12 declining and 5 holding firm. The winners included Berger, Dolphin Cove, Grace Kennedy, Lime and Sagicor Life Jamaica. The losers included Carb Cement, JMMB, which traded at a one-year low, NCB, Panjam Investment Trust, down 10.3%, Sagicor Investment, down 9.6%, Scotia Group, and Scotia Investments. In related news, following a turnaround in the fortunes of hardware and lumber, the Board of Directors has approved a dividend of 12.5 cents per stock unit, the first such dividend in five years. The company's revenue improved by almost 4% to $6.3 billion, during the year ended December 31 last year, and net profit grew by 325% to $27.2 million. Now, quite a contrast to losses in the previous year. And that's the Owen James Report. Good evening. The Owen James Report was brought to you by Columbus Business Solutions, one provider, all the solutions.